It's hard to believe that Dr. Gladys McGarry is 102 years old. She still rides a bike and walks. I walk 3,800 steps with my walker every day. And some days I don't make it, but I try. She wrote this book, The Well-Lived Life, which holds six secrets to health and happiness. This is about my philosophy. First, some background on Dr. Gladys. She's known as the mother of holistic medicine. Her parents were traveling doctors in India who helped the poor through a church program. While attending school there, she struggled with dyslexia. I knew the alphabet and I knew numbers and stuff, but when I saw them written down, they were jumping all over the place. I absolutely couldn't read. She eventually learned to manage it and her family later relocated to the U.S. where she went to med school and met her husband, Bill. The two ran a medical practice together in Wellsville, Ohio. Bill was called back into the Korean War, so I had the whole town by myself, so there were 9,000 people that I was running around crazy. She also dealt with discrimination because female doctors were rare then, and so were holistic doctors who mix conventional and natural methods to help the body heal itself. It's your job to do the amazing work that you've been trained to do and then support the patient as they do their own healing. She co-founded the American Board of Holistic Medicine and loved every aspect of it. Not just birthing, but helping people make the transition at death or just struggle through some really difficult diseases. Dr. Gladys had six children and juggled being a mom with running a medical practice. I've always been blessed with amazing help at home. Here's some secrets she learned this past century about how to live a long, healthy life. She says you are here for a reason and you need to figure out what that is. I see it as a big jigsaw puzzle with each one of us having a special piece. I was born to be a physician. I told my parents that when I was two. She says find that job or hobby that sparks joy. Helping with childbirths did that for her. When that baby took its first breath, I swear I heard the angels sing. She also says that everything is a teacher, even life-altering situations. Sometimes, Chronic illness makes a person so strong and so beautiful that it's just awesome. Dr. Gladys beat thyroid cancer and later breast cancer. She says when bad things happen, you learn a lot. Okay, this is a horrible thing that's happened to me. What lesson do I have to learn from this? We also asked Dr. Gladys about advice for mothers. It's so easy to get bogged down with all of the things that you have to do. She says try to be present and enjoy the moment. Also, try not to smother, because mistakes are how kids learn. The process of overmothering can become very real so that the child really doesn't know that they what their strengths are. Dr. Gladys now has a mix of 24 grandchildren, including the greats and a great grand. So that is 30 people on this planet yeah. thanks to you. How does that feel? Absolutely awesome. What a privilege. 102 years of advice on living well is at the top of the list.